Hello, hello. I'm here in the northeast of Gran Canaria and this is Caldera de Bandama. This is part of the very young eruption here. The, it's stated at 1970 BC. Uh, oh, sorry, 1970 before present. Uh, so it's pretty much round about the year zero according to our time counting. And uh, this is next to a cinder cone. And here's the cinder cone. And uh, the Sintacone is now inspected by the students here. And uh, the Sintacone is uh, Pico Bandama, the peak of Bandama. And these two come together. It started off as a Sintacone eruption, and then there was a Friata Magmatic eruption blowing out this giant hole here. And uh, this gave rise to the uh, caldera there. There is a few caves down in there, in the caldera, so the Guanchi actually settled the caldera later and they had uh, probably goats, etc. grazing down there in the caldera. It's a rather nice and protected area, so it's very pleasant. Now, more recently, a golf course has sprung up here on the hillside next to Caldera Bandama. And, uh, well, uh, not quite as recent, but almost as fascinating, there is the entrance to a bunker here where the students are looking at the crystals just now. They're trying to get out olive in. But here is actually a bunker that goes into the hillside. And uh, this was an anti-aircraft bunker. There was the possibility to bring an anti-aircraft gun up onto the hill. This goes back to the Second World War. And this was uh, done by German engineers that were invited by Franco at the time in the hope that in case there was an attack on Las Palmas, which is over there, I'll walk you there, uh, that there could be actually some aerial defense, some kind of anti-aircraft fire. So I got to walk you over there to see the Las Palmas volcanic field now and uh, there we have a whole area that is pockmarked by volcanoes and uh, there was another anti-aircraft tank on La Isleta, the little volcanoes in the far distance there and so they believed they could cover the airspace over Las Palmas which is just in front of us here. So there is La Isleta the little island or the little isthmus here in the far distance. It's also a bunch of very young volcanoes. And there, of course, is the big city of Las Palmas, the largest city here on Gran Canaria. So these hills in the foreground, they're also little volcanoes. There's quite a range of them. There is uh, many uh, pock marks, as I call it. And they are very similar to the Auckland Volcanic Field, which I recently visited. I actually went to the Auckland Volcanic Field because I'm interested in the Las Palmas Volcanic Field and people have compared the two for quite a while. So here I learned a lot in Auckland because similar to what we see here, we have cinder cones and we also have freatic magmatic cones depending on if the rising magma was actually interacting with groundwater or not. And uh, this is a very useful comparison in terms of understanding these volcanic fields. One of the downsides here is that if an eruption like the Bandama eruption would occur today, we would actually have quite some problems. And that is, we're very close to a major city here, Las Palmas, and this would be a socio-economic disaster if this happened now. So I really hope this is going to be you know, something that will not happen in the near future to this area. So here, the fertile fields down there, they are actually made of the... and they are growing wine here. And over there, there are some vineyards even. And they make a very nice wine here called La Caldera. So the Caldera wine. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, I close with... let's try this. I close with uh, saying goodbye. And uh, here behind me is the little house and the little house that was uh, on Pico or is on Pico Bandama. The house is a fake. This is where the anti-aircraft gun was actually positioned inside. And uh, this is uh, now the house on the youngest volcano on the island of Gran Canaria. Okay, thank you very much. All the very best. And I talk to you again very, very soon. Bye bye.